Hello and welcome to the episode number one of the Stay at Home Dad Entrepreneur Podcast. This episode is not sponsored by Legoland, SeaWorld, or the San Diego Zoo, but they very well could be our sponsors, especially considering that I'm broadcasting from my home studio office slash living room slash home gym in Del Mar, California. Just a short drive from all those great tourist attractions. Especially great if you have kids or are a kid at heart. I'm your host, Joe Kennedy, the Grateful Dad. I'm uh, 55 years young. Yes, that's 55 as in 5'5". Five, five. I've been a stay-at-home dad now uh, for our 20-month-old toddler, Ava Kalea, for about six months now. Uh, feel like the luckiest guy in the world to be able to take this time and... Uh, Spend it with uh, Ava helping raise her, being the primary caregiver during the day of the w in the week. Um, when I took this role, I knew it was going to be a very difficult job. I never thought being a parent was easy, but being a stay-at-home parent, uh, being the primary caregiver is uh, extra difficult. But what I didn't realize is how hard it is to actually get anything else done during the day while taking care of a baby or a toddler or a young child. I, um, I, I am new to the role, so I'm still learning, still trying to get used to it, still trying to develop schedules and such. I uh, feel really lucky to get to hang out with this little girl. If, with any luck, she may come out here. <laughs> She didn't really want to make a video today for some reason. Uh, it's funny because she's been, uh, she's had a, an agent since she was about six months and I've taken her to Hollywood a lot for a lot of auditions and things like that, mostly modeling, being a baby. She doesn't have a lot of acting chops yet, but uh, it seems like a lot of times she just does not like the photographer or will not sit still. And, you know, it's a long drive up there and she kind of gets a little antsy and energetic so uh, that part of her, her uh, acting and modeling career so far has not been real successful but that's a, a story for a different episode um, back to you know it, it's real hard getting anything else done while taking care of her um, uh, priority in my life is uh, health and, and fitness and I do get in daily workouts uh, whether she be sleeping or I, I'm uh, a team beach body coach so I do at home workouts now I've got a little home workout area set up and uh, so I do my beach body workouts as well as some other things which I'll be sharing in future episodes as well What's uh, really cool is we live about 200 yards that way from the Pacific Ocean. So we have the, the most awesome backyard in, on the planet as far as I'm concerned. Even I can walk down to the beach uh, very easily and, and do most each and every day. It's really cool. And uh, we've only lived uh, in this place for a couple months. So uh, we haven't even got to the good weather yet, which is going to be extra special. So... Um, Speaking of being grateful, I'd like to touch on gratitude in each and every one of these episodes because it's a big part of my life and uh, something that I do each and every day when I wake up. I'm just thankful to wake up. Every day on this side of the dirt, it's a great day. Um, so uh, there are several things that I'm grateful for today. Number one is for you, the listener or watcher, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, this is being created as a podcast, but uh, or as a video, but for a podcast. The um, I, I'm just grateful for you to take your your valuable time to watch or listen, and uh, hopefully give feedback on uh, this, uh, this this initial episode. Number two, I'm grateful that I have finally been able to carve out the time to create this episode. I uh, tried yesterday. I'm going to touch on that in, in a minute. Uh, but it didn't work out very well. <laughs> the uh, number third thing I'm grateful, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be a stay-at-home dad. And I really owe that to uh, both the baby, Ava Kalea, 
and uh, her mom, my beautiful wife, Stacia Kennedy. So thank them both, two of the women in my life. Uh, as far as why I started uh, to create this podcast, there's a few different reasons. Number one, I really like to connect with the stay-at-home dad community, uh, both in the U.S. And, and around the world. I think there's just so much to learn from them, uh, from, from y'all. And uh, hopefully I'll, I can not just learn, but help teach people about some of the best practices. Um, speaking of which, number two, I, I really want to learn and share the best parenting and education tips, t- tricks, and tools out there. I really want to be able to help my daughter learn as much as possible, become a, a smart little girl. And hey, come back here, little Ava Clea. I've uh, been teaching her some Spanish and Mandarin even before she can speak English. She doesn't talk much, um, but she's pretty sharp and she understands a lot. And I just feel very thankful and um, want to continue on down that path. I don't want to le- wait until schools for uh, able to get her education. I think every day is a learning opportunity. And um, so. If you have a great parenting or life hack, I'd love it if you would share it with me so that I can share it with our listeners. Uh, I'd make sure to give you thanks and credit. And even if you'd like to be interviewed for the show, I'd love to do that as well. Uh, The third reason for this podcast is connect with other entrepreneurs who are stay-at-home parents and run businesses from their homes. I especially want to learn how you do what you do especially how you're able to prioritize and make time for the important things that you need to accomplish to make an important successful business come here Ava come here oh she's camera shy again uh let's see yeah so um I actually decided to create this podcast at the urging of Gary V Gary Vaynerchuk an ultra successful social media personality and entrepreneur as well as author. Uh, According to him, and he's right, I'm not actually an entrepreneur. I'm a entrepreneur. Uh, I I, I do want to uh, be an entrepreneur, but on my own terms. I'm not afraid of hard work and putting in the time and the hustle necessary to make it work. I just want to make sure that my kids and my family remain top priority in all my business and life decisions. It's super important to me, especially in my uh, uh, state of experience uh, versus other people that may be uh, parents, stay-at-home parents, entrepreneurs. Uh, I hope to use this forum to learn how to be a better stay-at-home parent. I've got a lot to learn still. Uh, It's been a challenge and will continue to be, I'm sure. But I want to make that uh, giant leap from entrepreneur to entrepreneur with a real viable and profitable business. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get my uh, wife from having to be at a place to work too. And we can get to our plan of traveling around the world with this little girl, Ava Kalea. Uh, I am going to start off using this uh, Anchor FM podcasting platform that was suggested by Gary V. It's uh, free and fairly easy. It's supposed to be fairly easy to use. Yesterday, I attempted to produce a first episode on Anchor FM mobile app on my iPhone. And uh, I thought that I would record it and upload it a full 15 minute episode. But after I got home and checked it out, it turned out I had recorded, uploaded, and shared via social media an entire five seconds of all that I thought I had recorded wasn't quite the start that I was looking for. I, um, today will be better and, uh, you know, it won't be perfect, but I will keep on making improvements and hopefully with your, uh, tips and suggestions, I always want to, um, you know, get feedback whether it be constructive or ragging. If there's haters out there, I love y'all. Let me hear it. I need to hear it. Okay, today um, I'm recording this to video and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube before separating out the audio and putting it on Anchor. 
I'm not sure if Anchor is the best platform or if I have the right equipment to make a proper podcast, but again, I'm willing to uh, listen to suggestions. Um, so we'll see, we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to start out on Anchor. I have looked at or listened to a lot of other, uh, well, not a lot of other because there's not that many, but other stay at home dad podcasts. And um, it seems like you know, there's been a few that have started out and then done an episode every week or two or three, and then they slow down and just disappear totally. Uh, I'm not sure that people are getting the feedback they may be looking for. I'm really not into this for feedback, but for learning and teaching. So hopefully I can get some of that and, and make it worth uh, the listener's time more than anything. My goal is to record and upload short and frequent episodes that you will be able to learn from. And uh, hopefully the learning will come from tips and suggestions from other listeners as much as my own research and, and special guests that I can have on the podcast. Um, I realize that most stay-at-home parents have a lot more experience than I do. Uh, many have much bigger challenges as i said i'm really lucky i i've got uh one child in diapers right now uh, we also have teenagers and that'll be um fodder for future episodes as well but the uh you know my main responsibility is a 20 month old toddler who's uh hopefully going to be potty trained soon and uh just a lot of fun so uh, i i'm really lucky i don't have it too difficult but uh, I, I do know that others have it more difficult if they have, you know, several children or even a couple children or, you know, younger children. My wife stayed home with Ava for the first uh, year plus while she was breastfeeding. So um, I didn't have to do the heavy lifting as far as that goes. So I have it pretty easy. Um, but that said if you have any questions comments or suggestions i'd love to hear from anytime you can contact me via the website at daddybloggerworld.com or the b or bemoretribe.com that's my um, kind of fitness health and nutrition community or you can contact me always via twitter too at joe tesla kennedy so um, I really appreciate you again for watching this episode, listening to this episode, however you're consuming it. And, um, I, you know, I just really, really appreciate you. I look forward to, uh, you know, having your ear and suggestions down the road. Please uh, let me hear from you. And um, thanks again for your time. Take care. Uh, much love and aloha. Peace. Come on, man.